From efforts to reach consumers, to fighting policy battles, to beef producer education, it's amazing to learn about the wide variety of programs and projects that are managed right here in Denver at the headquarters of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Josh White, the Executive Director of Producer Education, is here now to talk about the work of he and his team. Josh, thanks again for coming back to the show. It's my pleasure. Well, tell folks just a little bit about uh, some of the projects and initiatives you have going on in, in producer education. Well, we have quite a few things that fall under the producer ed umbrella, and uh, Cattlemen's College is one of them that was just terrific this year at convention. We set a record of nearly 1,400 folks joining us there, uh, over 20 seminars, so people had a wide variety of of information to learn and uh, well over 40 speakers because some of the uh, seminars had multiple speakers. Our opening session, I think we had four different speakers to, to get that rolled off on Tuesday evening. But the exciting thing is if you missed it, if you weren't able to make it, you can go online uh, under the producer ed tab at, um, at Beef USA. You can find all the, the links that'll get you to recordings of all those seminars. There is a small fee, but uh, I think you'll find it very valuable for all the uh, different seminars you'll have access to. I know Beef Quality Assurance also falls under your level of responsibility and uh, you know we've made a lot of progress in terms of quality assurance over the years that has actually resulted in a better beef eating experience. Uh, tell us a little bit about your perspective. Well that's right we do a quality audit every five years and so we're able to track that uh, progress. Um, very early on we were focused on injection site lesions and and um, you know, things that had to do with animal care in that, in that regard. We've made such progress there, we've sort of moved beyond it, and now we're looking more at um, cattle care and handling, uh, bruising, things that, that we can manage on the farm and ranch level from the feedlot to the packer. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also seen a, a lot of change within the genetics, which is not a direct uh, result of the NBQA, but some of that I think can be tracked back to it. And so we've seen, you know, higher quality grades, mm -hmm less horned cattle, so less scarring on hides, which hides are very valuable today with the, the world market for leather is, is huge. So there's a lot of things you don't think about, but, but even the export markets can be affected by um, you know, how we manage those cattle and cutting down on, on problems within the beef or the hide or different, uh, different products that may go abroad. I know you're a huge, huge advocate of uh, producers getting certified uh, in BQA, um, but you've said not just once. It, uh, you know, if you've been certified eight or ten years ago, you're a big advocate of getting recertified. Tell us more about that. That's right. So we always recommend that you contact your state coordinator. Uh, you can do that through our BQA.org website. Every state has a link there to their state efforts. Um, you know, hands-on training is is the best in my opinion. If you can get shoot side and see the latest uh, recommendations for animal care and handling. We also have the stockmanship and stewardship program with Kurt Pate and Ron Gill uh, going around the country and talking about low stress handling, maybe uh, loading some cattle up in a semi or, or I mean, all kinds of demonstrations available at the local level. But if you can't make that happen, um, Beringer Ingelheim has sponsored free online training through the um, uh, Beef Cattle Institute at animalcaretraining.org. Again, really all you have to remember is bqa.org and you can find all the links there. And that is free uh, through April 15th, so um, don't waste any time. Go ahead and sign up. And, and like you mentioned, most states, the way it works is you're certified for two to three years off of that, that certification. Sure. Um, but you do need to go back either through a continuing ed module that some states offer or maybe through a retraining. Um, there are multiple different trainings on, on that animalcaretraining.org site as well. Maybe from a feed yard perspective, there's also the dairy training module. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of different different ideas. So if you've done one, you could go back and do a different segment uh, so you can get some new information. And tell us, uh, I've heard a little bit about the Transportation Symposium. Maybe you can tell folks what that is and how people can get involved at home. That's right. I mentioned bruising earlier as, a, as an issue for our industry uh, that, we've, that we've looked at. There are a lot of care and handling uh, issues around transportation. Mm -hmm. Of course, the whole BQA system is, is based on a hazard analysis kind of, of protocol that goes back to the military days, the HACCP principle, where we're looking for areas where we have an opportunity for a problem. Gotcha. And loading cattle, hauling cattle, unloading cattle, there are a lot of points where uh, we have human-animal interaction, we have technology and, and facilities design, and a lot goes into all that. Mm -hmm. 
So um, there has been some great work done in the past through the uh, Master Cattle Transporters uh, program. Uh, it's been several years ago now that Texas took the lead in that and producing that, and that is available online too for a training. But now it's time to look at that and say, you know, are there any updates needed? Are there new, um, you know, new challenges within the industry? Some of our cattle weights are getting larger, heavier. Uh, is there, are there different things we need to do? And we're engaging every segment of the industry there. We'll have a, a dairy presence, livestock markets, uh, feed yards. It is a robust agenda, and you can also find a link to that at bqa.org. Very good. Well, lots of things for producers to continue to sharpen our saw and uh, get better at doing what we do. Thanks so much for your leadership in this area. Well, it's a team effort, but it's a lot of fun trying to help cattlemen do a better job every day. You bet. As Josh told us, getting BQA certified is the right thing to do, and it's easy to get done. Just visit the website bqa.org to find out all you need to know and uh, get the process started.